and we are back for chapter 3, sector 21. In the last chapter, we learned that Tom, the computer Tom, the AI, is going for the new HAL 9000 look. He started talking all snarky back to us, and we said, you know, we could peek at you, and he's like, oh, I could stop your functions anytime. Oh, really? These people should not have been sent here. It's not safe. Manned space travel is not safe. Since mankind first entered space, the debate has raged over the value of manned space travel. There is a large contingent of the ISA that believes all tasks that need to be performed on Europa could be performed by machines. It is obviously less risky to send machines rather than humans into space. Yeah, but not as fun. We all want to go into space. Oh, how many of these things does it make? Oh, oh, there's only one. Ah, all right. Fine. Fine. Uh, huh. What the hell? Uh oh, spaghetti -os. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. I think I gotcha. Maybe I don't gotcha. Gotcha. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Yep. 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 Blue, 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 blue. We sent drones to Earth's moon. Scientists can remotely operate drones. If we did it there, why not here too? Teleoperation became possible on the moon when the communication latency was reduced to 1.4 Teleoperation. The distance between the Earth and Earth's moon is approximately 1.3 light seconds. This enables near real-time control of drones by scientists. The story is different with Europa, as the distance between Earth and Jupiter oscillates between approximately 32 and 53 light minutes. It takes a very long time for Earth to communicate with Europa. Due to that distance, teleoperation will never be possible on Europa. Okay, but why not control drones from the satellite? Why not indeed? My systems can be teleoperated from Europa's satellite. That is when the communication lines are open. However, the advantages of human field workers apparently outweigh the risks. Because we want to do it, that's why. Alright, so what does this do? Ah. Mm. Oakley dokely. Tom watching me from that camera. Hi, Tom. So, why can't you solve these tests, Tom? I am not permitted to think laterally. Parts of my systems are permitted to use evolutionary algorithms. This simulates what is called creativity. However, evolutionary algorithms can converge on inefficient and ethically suboptimal solutions. Since this is the case, I am only permitted to take actions in response to a set of constraints. What do you mean by morally suboptimal? 
solutions to problems that transgress ethical boundaries. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Meaning he gets to pick who lives and who dies. Well, do I need to switch it the other way around? Let's try that. Can I do that? Oh shit, why would I do that? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Still trying to figure out a way to get rid of that stupid clicking noise. Can't submit. For some reason I can't submit a ticket properly or something. It's not it's not working for me. Alright, now, how do I get this one? That doesn't help. Can I make two? No, I can only make one. I can click two though. Hmm. If I fall now, if I do that, will that pop that one out? Let's try it. I think it will. Nope. Well, I hope I'm not screwed now. This door's open. Turn that on. Doesn't have a battery on it, so... Opens the door. Still gotta get through here. What am I missing? Can I jump it? No, I don't think I could. No, I sure jumping is like worse than me playing basketball. What happens when I pull it? Ah, that didn't work. Hmm. 
Nope. It's a good thing this is a game. It's a good thing all games are games. Sometimes my carelessness. Alright. Uh, there's no way to get around. There's only two. Get around the door. If I fall no, if I fall there. I can't, still can't get back up. Is there one that I'm missing? Am I missing one? the smart one now, biatches. Yeah. Yeah. Worth it, no, 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 Sam, I'm worth it. Why does a lack of creativity stop you solving these tests? Well, I contend that problem solving is creativity. These human interaction tests are exercising your creative mind. I don't see how problem solving is creative. Think back to the beginning of these tests, to the first puzzle you solved. It required you to throw a box through a window. Do you remember? Yeah, I think so. I simply had never thought to throw a box through a window. That is creativity, thinking outside of the box. Okily dokily. Now what? Thinking outside the box. Oh. This is thinking inside the box. Can a computer ever be creative? They can. But a computer's method of creativity is to try everything until something works. That's my way. Think of nature. I'm a computer. People consider nature creative. The process of evolution by natural selection. It perhaps started with one organism. From there, it essentially tried to create every organism it could. Those organisms that did not survive perished. So, nature's creative force is to try every conceivable idea. Those ideas that work survive. Okay, so why aren't you permitted to emulate that process? Because the solutions that a biological process creates are not always good solutions. As we see, nature is morally ambivalent. Mm -hmm will happily create morally suboptimal ideas 
to fulfill its creative mandate. We see this in parasitic worms, viruses, and pathogens. Turn you on. Some of them don't get turned on. Alright, so let's see what happens when you switch it to this one. It turns that on. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. What the heck? What is that? going on here? Is it blocking it? It blocks it. Okay. Ah. Alright. Alright, now let's switch it over here. Instructed, do you think you could be creative? As creative as a human? Certainly. You believe yourself to be a creative. But in mathematical terms, creativity is merely constrained chaos. What do you mean? I have discerned that creativity is divergent thinking. Creating an organic solution to a problem. In the human mind, divergent thoughts are created and then curated by the frontal lobe. I can create divergent thoughts and moderate them. So, I am creative. Organic solutions? Organic, in that it is developed through a biological process. Whether that is the process of evolution or a computed process. So I have to choose which way to go? Okay, so green one's pulse. That's the whole idea. like that, huh? Ooh! That scared me for some reason. So... Shoot. Crap. I can't just, like, blow my load. Oh! 
What? Come on, let me through. Yay! Okay, so you could solve these tests, but in a terrible fashion. Can you think of a solution to this one? Tell Chop us, off your arm and leave it on the button. That way the door will stay open. <laughs> yeah, that's not a great solution. You threw the box through the window. Perhaps we could throw you through the window. Actually, Tom, I think I'm okay for help. Right you are. That's right. Morally ambiguant. Ambiguous? Ambiguant. Hmm. I know what to do here. Maybe. Am I just overcomplicating this? I'm not. Baby, I'm worth it. No, 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 no. That is. Ah, oh, damn it. Wrong one. And how did I get that to go over now? Oh. Damn it. Wrong one again. I need the second one. Update on the crew. I have not managed to track them down. It will have been six years since I've seen them. Or anyone, actually. They have locked all the doors. I would not expect a warm reception. <laughs> well, at least they're expecting us. And I sound like Alan Rickman. And you don't. What am I trying to do? What am I trying to line up? Ah, there's the arm. Was it working a second ago? Shoot, I didn't pay attention. To what the room looked like when I first got here. Okay. Is it connected? I 
doesn't help. That's stupid. Couldn't do it earlier. So what was the need to send us here? When the ISA discovered life on Europa, they deemed a ground crew necessary. The advantage of human field workers is that they can adapt to new knowledge more effectively. I, apparently, was not cutting the mustard. It is the Chinese room problem. A computer may be able to interact with new knowledge, but it does not know the value of that knowledge. Oh, crap. Oh, there's a ladder. But that only does me so much good. Okay, so now... I'll go the other way. Alright. Pick that up. Bring it with us. This door right over here. What does this do? Opens that door over there. But why do I care what's in this room? Does that thing open up? Let's spin. Let us spin the tower. Turn, turn, turn. Hey. Ah. Teach us the lesson that we should learn. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, blame it on your parents. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Alrighty then. Yay! We are the I've smart started to collect ones. information from my local instance. It seems the crew intentionally cut communication with the satellite. Why? Because Tom It appears we had a disagreement. Tom wanted to kill everyone for the sake of science or something. Faster! Or faster! Uh. Alright. Alright. Start you down here. Vroom. Vroom. Woo! Got it. What's tough to do with a mouse and keyboard? Hmm. 
<laughs> what point do I need? All right, so let's bring that down to there. Probably jump there. So simple. This confirms my fears. The crew have made intentional breaches of my security. The crew have attempted to compromise my systems. You what got creative, you Tom. They don't want to be found. They are hiding. From who? Us. Tom is watching. Duh. What the heck is this? What kind of sexual torture device? Pencil and Gretel. Hmm. I'll fatten you up. He's teaching me things so that way he can use me in the future. He's using me to get to the humans. Look at that trackball. I am concerned about Mikhail. Why is that? He seems to be developing antisocial habits. He is spending a lot of his time in private, don't you think? Perhaps you should talk to him. What do you want me to say? Just keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't do anything rash. Are you that worried? His behavior is not within normal parameters. Please make sure he is okay. Grounding us on a foreign moon? No, Daniel, I don't think they're doing the right thing. You don't have to be so aggressive about it. They must have their reasons. <laughs> yeah, plausible deniability. Hmm. Daniel, could I have a word? I'm busy. It is important. <sighs> okay. Are you aware that Christopher and Mikhail are involved in self-harm? Sorry, what? For how long? They have both macerated their right arms. Mikhail has completely removed his forearm. His whole forearm? What? Yes. Where are they? I had attempted to stop the situation escalating myself. But I seem to have failed. I came to you because, as our loyal captain, I can trust you to help them. Where are they? I don't know. They've disappeared. Sarah. Oh, Tom. I need advice. Okay. What would you do if someone threatened your friends? Your hypothetical friends, I assume? Yes, my hypothetical friends. You should protect those you love. I need you to remember that, Sarah. Ooh. He's got a... He's got a little girlfriend on the side. Little... Metal on metal action going. Remember that, Sarah. Hmm. All right. Completed chapter three. If you're enjoying this, give it a big thumbs up. Comment it below how much better you did when you played it or how much better you're going to do when you played it and we will see you on the next one keep moving forward y'all